family and friends, top of the day, it's Friday and you still ain't got no realtor. Monopoly or monopolistic competition exists when one supplier provides a particular good or service to many consumers. In a monopolistic market, the monopoly or controlling company has full control of the market so it sets the price and supply of good or services. Now I know making this video about one of our favorite childhood games is traditionally commensurate with my approach in the past, but since inflation is up, we can't even talk about money before we address gas prices creeping up on $5 a gallon nationwide. I guess gas essentially gets high over time, literally and figuratively. Back to monopolies and monopolistic competition. It's important to know the difference between these two concepts. Monopolies are in perfect competition where the seller controls majority of a particular market. Monopolistic competition happens when said competition allows many dominant sellers the opportunity to capitalize through product differentiation. Stay with me. Also important to understand is industry or market placement. Example, McDonald's started out selling burgers and fries, so they would be listed under the restaurant industry. They're also listed under the real estate industry for their operations in procuring land. This is essential and runs hand in hand with building facilities. Another important fact to consider is the ability of McDonald's leadership to acknowledge its role in the real estate industry. They made the necessary correction to ensure the company was also listed in the real estate industry as a publicly traded company. A publicly traded company's value lies in their competitiveness in their respective industry or industries. Stay with me. FICO or the Fair Isaac Corporation was founded by Bill Fair and Earl Isaac in 1956. The company's purpose was to assess consumer risk. The FICO score has since become a fixture for consumer lending. FICO went on to become a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange in 1986. Believe it or not, the actual FICO score wasn't created by the company until 1989. Many of us were born before the score was even used to assess consumer lending risk. Very odd. In 2020, FICO reported revenues of $1.2 billion for the fiscal year. In 2013, it was also reported that lenders purchased 10 billion FICO scores in addition to 30 million consumers assessing their credit scores themselves. Credit unequivocally should be listed in the finance or banking industry. The million or billion dollar question is, why is the FICO company listed under the computer industry as a publicly traded company? I want you guys to stay tuned on Monday for FICO, Blue or Red Ocean. As always, I'm happy to help. Make it a great day.